what's going on, buddy? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun. Last time, we saved Kalima Forest. We got a reward from Lord McCoy himself. This time, we head to unexplored territory as we head east. But, actually, before we do that, I did <laughs> we did get some items. I haven't really gone over. Uh, most of these, I think, I've discussed. Vials heal 500 HP. I think we've discussed this. Potions heal all HP, regardless. Huh? Those are very important items. Unique items that you don't find a whole lot of. Um, hard nuts. It permanently de boosts defense. I got this last time. For the first you know what I just realized? It's called a hard nut, and it, the shape of it, I mean, I guess it looks like a peanut, but it's so flesh color. It looks like there's like hairs on it. That's, it's gross. I don't like it. Ivan dies a lot, so we're going to boost his defense permanently. I think that should be pretty easy to do. You know, as in, I don't really have to. Also, the leather gloves look a lot like the hard nuts. I, I want to stop saying that word forever. Game, stop making me say that. Um, something I think would also maybe a good idea to do, I think we're gonna just sell these turtle boots, by the way. Um, I think I want to give Garrett uh, my healing items. Do have something? Okay, like vials, for example. That would be a good thing to give him. Just because Garrett, at no point in the game, unless you give him a Jin, he does not gain the ability to heal at you ever. Who has the- oh, you have the healing ring as well. Okay, since you have the vials, I think I'm gonna give Ivan the healing ring. There we go. And me, yeah, I only have an herb on you. Okay, that should be okay for. Do we, do we not have nuts? Where's our nuts? Do we sell them? We could have nuts. We are gonna love my nuts. Do I? Wow, I don't have any nuts. Do have I used them all? Did I sell them by mistake? Am I a monster? Okay, anyways, enough of that. We're gonna start heading east and follow this path. We head towards the forest. So. Apparently, this force has sprouted up overnight. I don't know if that's ever really talked about in the game, but uh, it is the lore. And uh, as you would imagine, the reason why we couldn't go this way before is because this guy was also turned to a tree, so nothing would happen when we came here. Are we going across the bridge? Oh, right, go right ahead. I might have actually shown this, I don't remember. <laughs> that's what I get for not recording the entire Let's Play in one sitting. For a while, I thought no one would ever cross this bridge again. Enjoy cross your. Enjoy every crossing, for it could be your last. That's daunting. You don't understand, but truly a joy to cross this bridge. Oh, I do understand. Alright, from this point on, we're in what's considered to be World Map 4. The fourth section in which new monsters you could find. So instead of like zombies and all that, you can now find ooze, maulers, lizardmen, which we've all seen before, and as well as one new monster. And if you don't run into him, that'll be okay, because we'll actually be seeing him in the next place we go into. And... Ah, oh, just lizardmen. I got super excited after three of them. Um, these guys are no joke, and in my practice hall, these guys kept, like, killing me, or nearly killing me. So hopefully, uh, this will be easier this time. They have giant axes. They look pretty spooky. Also, I, why, why, why do they wear glowing cloths? I don't like in games when I do that. It's like, they're monsters. Just don't give them any genitalia, you know? You don't just have to... There we go. So that noise you just heard there, and also fever wasn't in the way there, you would have seen the, the monster like flash a bunch of different colors. That means you've actually, um, this only actually ha works when you use something that- oh, wait, what? Oh, I used summon last time, gotcha. Uh, do you have any new synergy? We do not. We have Spire. We've used that before, right? Uh, we've had to have used all this before, I hope. Um, yeah, we've definitely used all that before. Have we used Plasma? I had to have, right? I love Plasma. Let me use that real quick. And no, let's see if any Jin, right? You just have that one. Okay, gotcha. There we go. Just uh, add some variety to the attacks here. Wow. I think I twice and you did not go down. 13 damage. Ugh. 13 damage. Wow. Here's where we're in, uh, fighting a zombie for the first time. A nuts! Awesome. I just complained about not having any nuts. Is that really the only Yeah, that's the only one. Did I maybe use them during the Satoris battle? Hmm. How very curious. Alright. So, you'll see there's another forest right over there. Some more maulers for us to deal with. Quickly, hopefully, quickly dispense of these guys. I hope. I pray. Uh, the, that one. The, that one. Jupiter! Um, we have two things to do here, though. We saw that forest to the south, and there's also a little town to the north of us. And kill him! There we go. Once again, that is double damage, which gives you double experience, double coins, and double uh, the chance of it dropping whatever unique item it has. 
don't remember what mall or shop exactly, but it's fine. So, uh, let's not, let's not, it's actually, story-wise you want to do this first, this is the Fusion Temple. A completely optional area. You don't have to come here at all in this game, however, it is very important, you definitely want to come here. In my practice file, I purposely skipped this so I could show you guys what happens when you do skip this area. Um, it is, it would be a huge mistake to skip this though, so don't. <laughs> Jet from the sky, blue lights in the north, all omens of disaster, we match the legends of destruction described in the, our oldest scrolls. There's no point in training if the world is to be destroyed. It's better to just live happily. How'd you get here? Is the bridge open again? Let's lie to him. Oh, they came through the forest? That's too bad. Alright, it'll make him happy. Really? Then I can go home to Kalima now? I'd never be able to go home with all the cursed forest and all. Oops, did not mean to talk to him again. I feel bad. I said no the last time, which makes me wonder if maybe the game's gonna think he just never will go back now. I don't feel safe going home alone. I hope a monk will ask me. What, with these little tiny children? I think they're children. No, nope, I'm gonna feel really bad. This is obviously a very Asian-inspired town, and if he's just short, then I guess that would make me racist. I'm sorry, I'm not racist, I promise. Oh, oh, blue lights in the north, terrifying! A rain of broken stars! A forest suddenly grows! All oh, omen. Okay, so they do discuss how the forest suddenly grew. A rain of broken stars! I'm gonna assume that's the synergy stones falling from the sky. Many, um, many stars fell from the sky, just as it says in the scrolls. This is truly a portent of the world's destruction? So he's uh, meditating under a waterfall, can't get much more stereotypical than that. Nyampa has not eaten in days, he's going to waste away to nothing. Nyampa, hey. I can't imagine fasting, gets me the precious thing about it. Me too, man, me too, I would I'm not be able to fast. I mean, well, I have actually fasted before, <laughs> for the wrong reasons. Isn't it noble of him to try and save the world by becoming enlightened? Yes. However, I really do not see, do not want to, to see Nyampa waste away. Interesting. I will train to become a good monk, and I will save the world even if I have to sacrifice myself. I'm traveling on the world to spill goodwill. If I'm here, I'd like to learn the secrets of Fusion Temple. That won't happen unless I'm, I'm undergoing intense training. I like areas like this, like the little lily pad flower, that's really pretty. It's really pretty. And there's a very helpful synergy stone right there, so let's see if we could heal anyone. Everyone but Mia was perfectly fine. Good. Good. Yeah, it's good. So here we go. Well, if we talk to this guy, the crazy hairdo style, at least in like his portrait here, it looks like he has like spike, like giant spiky hair that goes straight up or something, right? But then you look at his like his sprite here, definitely looks like he has like normal esque hair. If you check this pot here, we got a unicorn ring. Didn't mean to do that. Um, let's take a look at what that does. You used to remove poison! So that was actually pretty cool! Oh no, you already have that. Um, yeah, so this is actually kind of useful. Let's say like... Because Mia can heal poison, however, let's say she like dies in a boss battle or something, and then you need to heal someone that's poison or something. Pretty useful there. So yeah, my first time ever playing this game, I skipped this area entirely and missed out on a hell of a lot. Because... Um, when you talk to someone important, like when you talk to Trent, when you can heal him with the water, after you would like say the dot dot dot, it would open up the inventory. And like I said before, I did not know if you pressing select would open the inventory, and A was my only method. See, I'm pressing A right now, it opens the inventory. You cannot press A to open the inventory with this guy. And uh, what you want to do here is actually mine need him. Or I guess I didn't know I could lock synergies to like the L and R button as well. Hmm, who is that? Who speaks to my minds? <gasps> Whoa, he knew! Young master, was that your voice? I heard my mind just now. I knew it! You follow them, do you not? I knew it! I mean, this could be a scam. Them? I follow them? I mean, come on, everyone's following something in their life, you know? It's a scam artist! Run away, Isaac! But you must go through Mo Mogul Forest, the Endless Woods. The forest itself is a mystery in this path. Even more so. No ordinary man can pass from one side to the other. Perhaps I could, young master. If you can endure the trials in the waterfall, Grodo, I will tell you. Do you take the test? Hell yeah! Whoa. Do not worry. You'll be permitted to enter the Grotto. Go now, Isaac! Just remember that you're not the only ones who can read minds. <laughs> That's cool. 
He calls me out. Speak to the monk standing beneath the falls. You enjoy reading the minds of others, do you not? If you ever do it, you'll soon learn to despise the ability. Wow, uh, wise. Um, yeah, so I never- I skipped this entirely. And he does say you need this to be able to go through the Mogul Woods. And it is kind of implied that, like, you know, that you need that- need whatever we're gonna learn for him to go through Mogul Woods. But you really don't? That's the thing? I just want to you for talking to me. Such young warriors endure the trial of the Grotto? I've already heard of your test from Master Nyampa. You may enter! What? You can't jump like that. You can't jump die. You know that's illegal. We enter here. Fushin Falls Temple. The dragon's flame illuminates the path of darkness, truth and darkness. Uh, oh snap! Um, <laughs> this is the Fushin Falls Temple. Uh, you can find ooze in here. You can find maulers, and there's actually another enemy we could find here that I haven't fight that I talked about in the world map four. But since we can see one here as well, I won't stress about it. Um, if you open the chest, and it's really a mimic, and that's why it's all so long. It was a mimic, it's not like a mini boss right off the bat here. Uh, this is actually kind of scary a little bit. He's level 14, he drops 207 gold, 190 experience. I really gotta stop saying that in these bottles. We're gonna see that anyways. I guess it's kind of a waste to even say that. When's the last time we got a Jin? We've seen all the summons, right? Let's just buff ourselves. These are mini boss battles. Um, Alright, I'm not gonna. Well, I might use Fizz later on. Uh, he has 506 HP. Alright, use granite right off the hop here. It's always kind of like, uh, do I use granite now or do I wait till they're like, you know, in dire need? Debilitate! Okay, so this guy, he has Debilitate, which drops um, everyone's party def uh, defenses by uh, a percentage. Um, he could also use Side Drain, which as you imagine would drain your synergy points. Uh, he could use Sleep, and he could use Briar. So those only methods of attack are by normally attacking, as well as using Briar. So hopefully we'll get a little lucky here and he won't use Briar on us, because, uh, that could hurt us. Uh, don't need to heal yet. All right, we'll just use Mercury. Bam! Wow, this is... Skip it all. Yeah, we should be done this. Yep. There we go. Should have waited one more turn. I would have been at least Fizz. It'd actually be kind of nice to him use Briar, just just because I don't think we've seen that move yet. This move we could also eventually use. In fact, we might be able to use it now if we equip the Fire Gen to Isaac. All right. Uh, you have nothing new yet. One day we'll get new synergy. One day. Oh, we can use Atlanta. There we go, let's heal up Garrett. We should go down fairly quickly though. Eh, oh, I thought it was gonna be it. But you can see he is resistant to winds. And let's make him... Probably weak to fire, I think. Let's see. Yep, weak to fire, there we go. 190 experience points, 207 coins, and a game ticket. Kind of a lame reward to be honest, but that's okay. Uh, if we hit up here, let's go this way. So yeah, this this cave is like definitely one of the less recognizable ones to me, simply because I never really got to experience this a whole lot as a kid. I'm pretty sure I went through the game multiple times without realizing the, which way to, or how to get to here even. Rays of light give birth to shadows, revealing the way. Don't know what that means. Room of spikes, which I do believe actually hurt you. Yep, one HP, pfft, baby spikes. I don't care. Pfft, I'm not afraid. I should not do that. <laughs> I should really not do that. All right, uh, let's head left first. I did not go through this dungeon in my practice file since, like I said, I skipped this entirely. Um, although I guess I didn't really need to. Uh, spirits. You've never seen these guys, right? Yep. Spirits, so level 11, they have 116 HP, H HP, 100, <laughs> 116 hit points, they drop 67 gold each and 49 experience each. Um, they have a 3.125% chance of dropping crystal powder, and they, they can use um, Dows and Ice as their attacks in addition to attacking. Hey, they're all day. It means level 12 Seer, Water Seer, Maximum HP by 7, PP 3, Attack 3, Defense 2, Agility 4. There we go, there's a coin in. Um, so yeah, I don't. I might get lost in here, and it might be a not good thing. If we go down here. Aha! So we actually want to go back through this way. 
I mean, Isaac makes like doing this look so easy, rolling across the water with logs like that, but you just know that'd be incredibly hard to do. Chess. Got the Arctic Blade, which is actually a pretty nice sword. It's always nice getting a sword like this too, because that means we'll be able to, uh... Ooh, it's much more beneficial to Isaac, but Garrett needs uh, a new sword more, so we'll give it to Garrett, I suppose. I suppose! I'm gonna go back here. Yeah, like, rolling across the water with logs, I know that's a thing, like, in real life, like, Lumberjacks, or at least it was, I don't know if it is anymore. You can actually go through that, isn't that, is it just me, or does that not look like a door? That's not, like, pushed down enough. Um, I believe... Yeah, we can avoid these spikes, but... You're gonna want to hurt yourself. That's the only way to get here, is it? Maybe there's an entire puzzle. You know what? I think there's an entire puzzle we could do, so, uh... <laughs> let's see the puzzle. Oh, does it just roll across the water? I think it just rolled across the water. Alright. So, we could've just taken the two damage. And they tried. I guess that's more of a... Use your mind to figure it out and not get hurt! Or something. I don't know. Go this way. It looks like you can't get around. Aha! A little genie. Um, pretty simple puzzle here. Right? Yeah. For a second that looked harder than it was. This is the second really mini boss in this area. We're gonna heal up and also save. Close your eyes for a second if you're scared of spoilers. I mean, not, not really spoilers, but you know, my save menu. There's no way to really block that. We save, by the way, in case you're wondering, in case these guys run away. Which I'm kind of hoping eventually happens, just so I can show what that looks like. Jupiter Jin runs away. I always get the feeling that Jupiter Jin in particular is going to run away because they're so nimble, you know? Almost looks like you'd think they would run away. Um, I did not actually do this very goodly, you know? Let's use Spire, actually. Let's stop trying to figure out what to do and just use something. Stop trying to hit me and hit me! I think you just straight up synergy in a long time. Let's try that. Oh, also, we gotta just attack normally with Garrett. See his uh, unleash with the Arctic Blade. Well, end. Hurts me, huh? He's, okay, so he's weak to Earth. Good to know. That being said, that means he's also gonna be uh, strong as a wind, of course, because he is of the wind elemental. Um, you know what? Let's use Venus. So, I guess I can go over the uh, Jin here. Before I forget about it, because I totally did right up until this moment. Uh, as soon as I finish this off here, flip my page over here. So, this Jin has. Uh, I could not figure out his level, unfortunately, but he has 314 hit points. Um, oh no, I didn't write down his move list. Okay, well, he has Whirlwinds. Oh snap, I didn't write down his move list. Oh no, what do I do? We skip it? I feel like I shouldn't skip it. One second! Alright, we're back. So, the Jin has, uh, this Jin has the abilities Whirlwinds, Flashbolt, Plasma, Wind Slash, Stormway, well, Stormway, and in addition to normal attack, he also has the ability to flee. Um, unfortunately, he didn't use anything we haven't seen before. That sucks. Oh well. Well, we have plenty of time to see this, uh, elsewhere. And just like that, we have another Jin under our belt. Super Jin Zephyr join Isaac! Uh, let's fix that immediately by... No, giving that to uh, Ivan. Um, ooh, he now gets uh, impact. So having three Jin set to Ivan gives him the ability to use impact, which will raise your attack. As you can see, there's a up and a sword next to it. That's what the yellow means, if you recall. Alright, so Zephyr, he will give you a plus 10 uh, base HP stat, plus 3 PP, plus 2 uh, agility, and as well as plus 1 luck. You don't see a whole lot of Jin giving you luck in this game, so that's good. Um, he increases agility for everyone, doubling... Uh, doubling... It doubles only agility, affecting item in the... Oh, I see! Um, he's the only thing you can use in the game to actually boost agility, apparently, which I didn't remember even writing down. <laughs> so that's a, oh, we actually don't want to go this way, because that's a shortcut back to another room, and if you go that way, this log will respawn there, and it'll make you very sad. So don't do it, it's a trap. Uh, what is up here? Ah, we're up here now, this will be the dragon room, I believe. There's something I gotta experiment with here for a second. Something I don't remember. Interesting. The statue of the eyeless dragon. What one is in the sockets? Hmm. It's almost like the first dungeon in the game, Soul Sanctum. Told us all about that. If you recall that, then you'll probably figure it out. 
Oh cool, let's save that. I put that log up there, which is really weird, to be honest. Alright, so the solution here is we want to... Okay, good, we did do this right. Uh, who's in a mole? There we go, there's something we've never seen before. Good, I was waiting for that. I gotta flip back now. Um, so, moles. They are level 11, they drop 60 gold, uh, 39 experience points, they have 96 H uh, HP, they have a 6.25% chance of dropping a Bramble Seed. That's actually a pretty large chance. Um, they have the ability to use Mad Splatter, which uh, causes delusion. Thank god, I thought I didn't write that down for a second with that data. I was like, oh god, I don't remember what that does. Uh, so, we probably all dispense of him before. And we also got to show, show off what uh, three, the, the release for 3 Jin would be. That was one of my favorite aspects, by the way. Wow, one hit. That was one of my favorite aspects back when I first played this game. I was always super excited that we go, Mad Splatter, Rep and Delusion, Ivan, and Mia. That was one of my favorite aspects, getting on Jin, and like thinking like, oh man, what, what's the new Unleash gonna be? I was always so excited to see that. Uh, so you know what? We're gonna put those all on standby and we'll show that off next time. So yeah, if you roll that log to the left there and then we jump up, we could run back down here. And of course, the goal being here, being able to jump to this rock so we can go down here. And that leads to this! It's the Eye of the Dragon! It's the thrill of the fight! Sorry. Um... If you go back up here... I'm scared... Well, I'm scared we're gonna be missing stuff, but, uh... I guess we don't have to leave this dungeon quite yet. Oh, in the sockets! So now that opens up the menu, telling me we have something for me to do here. A Shangra Jewel with flames inside! That sounds cool as heck. Details, I think, of an important item. As it uses a dragon eye! Ah, that looks more like sand than fire, but okay. This confused the hell out of me as, as a kid. I'm pretty sure you could actually walk on that, um, even without doing this, by the way. I don't think that is absolutely necessary. That's what I was trying to look for before. But, uh, you might be able to see what you're supposed to do here. Oh, no, dang it. There's still new monsters to fight in here. There's one more mo Nope, there's two more, actually. I don't think we see them. Alright, we can use that now. So, there's a little bit of a spoiler for ya. The new move is called Procne, a goddess in bird form. Um, uh, shoes, Fizz? That would be a nice quick heal, so let's do that. Won't do any damage, but here we go, here's Procne. I had no idea how to say this as a kid. I said, like, uh, pro 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 Prosne or something? I don't remember how I said as a kid. <laughs> I don't know why I brought I figured I'd naturally be able to remember, but nope, turns out I'm not. It turns out I don't even remember how stupid I once was. Uh, broken? Something like that? There we go. There we go. Good look at that flash there. There are no items from you guys, unfortunately, though. Okay, we're gonna use this to roll down. Oh, no, let's run out! Now we can show what happens when we go in this room. If you go back, you'll see the. Oh, no! The log does stay there! No way! It's a shortcut now. Cool. We never went. Flat. And that's. I guess that's why we didn't go right before. I kind of regret not doing that just because I've been able to show that, hey, we couldn't go that way before. But, I mean, y'all aren't stupid. Y'all can see that fine. Oh, actually, before we go this way. Wow, just naturally, I ended up going all, all the correct ways in this dungeon, even though I haven't done this in literally years. This is the first dungeon I've actually played without any practice. So you might, like, see this and be like, okay, follow the path. I thought maybe, you like, it'd push you up and this is, like, a false wall or something, but nope. Um, this confused me a lot, though. Um, but, I mean, you might be able to figure it out just by looking at it, what you gotta do. Perception. It's actually the shadow of an invisible blitz. Skellington, you're not supposed to be here, I don't think. You're supposed to see a, a, the next version of you up here, spoilers, kind of, I guess. Uh, who's the party of Jelly with Swiftwind? Yeah, I guess so. It's a little bit overkill. Oh, we gotta start attacking with Garrett. I gotta just remember that. Alright, from now on, only attack with Garrett. In fact, we're gonna... Off your just so he does more damage. Good, good. We're running a little late here, but we were very close to finishing this dungeon, so we might as well check it out. Um, oh, oh, wait, what? Really? Oh, yeah, so we can actually walk in the air now. Not exactly where the shadow is, but, you know, it's casting a shadow, so... I think we're not going to see the final monster here. The, sec the secret of Kai shall be revealed to the Disciples of Truth. And the truth is, it's cheating! Isaac got the Orbital Force! So, um, 
I ain't typically give this to Garrett. For no real reason, for us, we'll learn. This is one of the first items after the catch- Is this- Yeah, this is the first item after the catch speed that you use- You have to, like, equip it in order to use it. So, with that, Garrett now wants to use synergy, strike a distant object. Force. It is of no use yet, but it will be very soon. Climb this ladder. We're pretty much done here. Um, we'll quickly travel all the, the dungeon gives us to travel, and then we'll call it an episode there. There we go, and we just slide down here. So with that, we have successfully completed the dungeon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This episode was too long, but uh, next time, I went the wrong way. Wait, what? What just happened? I went the wrong way. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Next time, I will um, do other fun stuff. Goodbye, everyone! Well, let's, let's run down here first. There we go. We'll end it right here, because I'm pretty sure a cutscene happens after I leave here. So long, everybody.